everybody, David Plale, one of Africa's most premium and exciting fashion brands, in partnership with the Gauteng Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation, have come together to bring you the Gauteng Premier's Ball. It's a five-star gala event designed to celebrate the best of South Africa's contemporary creative heritage. So this will be a celebration of the artistic output that has helped to define our country's creative heritage since the birth of our democratic dispensation in 1990. The man behind the brand, David Clale, is here. So nice to see you. Good to see you, Liam. You never stop, do you? Always well. the, the next challenge. <laughs> well, got to try. I mean, um, it's great to be a designer, but I think we got to spread our wings to other things. And that really, I think I would say, fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's really, really important. I mean, something like this. I love the idea behind it. But yeah. talk to us about whose idea was it to begin with? So basically, it was it was our idea as a brand to say, um, you know, in Gauteng, we don't really have that premium event, that yes. luxury. Uh, you know, you look at KZN, they've got the Devon July yes. and Cape Town's got its own thing. Bloemfontein's got its own thing. In Gauteng, we have like very little. Yeah. So we thought of uh, the Premier's Ball, where it's going to bring uh, together the creative industry in Gauteng and in celebration of our heritage and also our arts, culture and, and our fashions. We're going to have um, artists performing, we're going to have poetry and the thick thread that uh, ties together the entire narrative is the fashion aspect and which is more exciting than anything else is the young designers competition for the, for the Premier's Ball yeah. where we are looking for five um, young designers in, in Gauteng. People ask me, do, you, do I have to be South African or do I have to be only living in Gauteng? It doesn't matter where you come from. As long as you reside in Gauteng currently, as long as you're African, you're more than welcome to enter the competition. That's fantastic. And what is it really? Just a showcase of, of your potential, of what's out there, of, uh, and, and it is a big showcase to be able to, to be there. Yeah, it is a showcase because um, we, we want to, we're going to be taking people on a journey from our democratic heritage from 1994 yeah. until current and also kind of like setting the trends for the future. So each five years we'll have uh, a story from 1994 to 1999, music, fashion, uh, poetry that was prominent at that particular time moving along until the current and also I think the young designers competition will be like sort of setting the future of fashion, the future of music in South Africa. I'm actually trying to think back to what fashions looked like in 1994 <laughs> yeah. as opposed to what they're now. What, I mean, what was it like? I mean we, we had a, a, a huge uh, influence of the Madiba Shet uh, yes. by Sonabilen Damase which he is going to be one of the designers showcasing on that night uh, in a spectacular way and uh, also, we there was a lot of, um, you know, dressing up in an African way. Yeah. Uh, brands like Stone Sherry and Sun Goddess were yes. prominent at that particular time. I remember because I was still in, in tertiary then. Yeah. So uh, being African and dressing up as an African woman going to a gala dinner or whatever was like the best thing to do. And the, t the, the Stone Sherry t-shirt, the drum uh, t-shirt was yes. like really beautiful like then. Iconic. Iconic, then, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be taking people on like that journey to like, let's look back where we come from and to where we are. Because I believe as a nation, we have evolved quite a lot yeah. in terms of fashion, in terms of music, in terms also of, of, of our politics and also food, which is a big thing on that night. And, and much more comfortable. Exactly. Because I think, I think what's happened since 1994, perhaps, perhaps prior to that, it was a matter of, you know, um, can we express ourselves so much with African fashion? Yeah. Who are we? Where are we going? What's the story now? Our, our, our designers, like yourself, are so brave. You're so yeah. out there. You're on an international stage. And you are setting trends. We're not just following trends anymore. No, no. We're actually setting them. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's important to start being patriotic as, as South Africans and also as Africans because... Over the years, we've seen uh, international designers coming to Africa and taking our heritage and cultures and also our, our, 
our raw materials and yeah. putting it on, on runway. And we thought it was great. But it's time that as South Africans, we start being really patriotic and supporting our own and also believe in the new talent that is actually coming up in South Africa. That's fantastic. So let's talk about the, the role of, of, of the Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation. How are they going to be backing this? So basically, they will be. The, we, are, we are partnering with our Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and Recreation, whereby we are use, working with them as a vehicle of spreading the, the message throughout the province. And also in financial um, aspect, they will be backing us up as a brand. And also to make sure that it is only not only a, a one-night um, event. Yeah. We, are, we are hoping that it becomes an annual event. And so ultimately, the whole country will come to embrace this, this, this project. Yeah, which would, be, which would be very, very exciting. You spoke about Sonwe Bele, who's going to be showing. Who yeah. else is going to be a part of this? I mean, we have uh, a lot of artists that we are still um, waiting for confirmation on. Um, lots of designers like Black Coffee, Stone Sherry, we're still approaching and to be part of the, of the, of the journey. Uh, really like people that played a major role like your Marion Fasler, uh, Sister Bucks, you know, like really people that made the, 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 the country colorful. Yeah. And I, I remember when I was still in, in, in university, those are the people we're looking up to. Indeed. And they, they really made an effort. Yes, so much has changed since then, but we've got to appreciate those designers. Uh, young talents like Anissa Mpungwe will be one of the yes. designers to be featured. And um, looking at Clive Randall, so it's going to be like very diverse and everybody's going to have a great time that night. Oh, I'm sure it is. All right, so we talk about that night. When is this night happening? The Premier's Ball is on the 24th of September okay. and it's taking uh, place at um, Freedom Park yeah. in Tswane, oh, wow. which is going to be a, uh, a journey of like, first of all, not just using Freedom Park as a venue, but um, looking back into our heritage, our, our history, because there's a, so much history that is actually based in Freedom Park. Um, and also the, the, the magnitude of the, of the Freedom Park itself, the amphitheater is it's going beautiful. to be lit beautifully mm. and uh, working with amazing production company, um, Jan Malan from Umzingeli Productions. Yeah. And I believe this is going to be the night to remember. Yeah, I'm sure it is going to be. So 24th of September, can we book tickets for this? Is it open to the public to attend as well? People can uh, send us email on studio at davidlale.com yeah. and also uh, follow us on our social media, David Lale on Instagram, uh, Tlale underscore large on uh, Twitter mm -hmm. and for all the details. And uh, we're selling tables of 10. So it's not just a single ticket. Yeah. So you got to buy a table of 10 if you want to come with friends, organize 10 of you. The table sells for 30,000 rands per table. And uh, dress code is going to be very key. It's a red carpet gala. Okay. So if you have seen the Met Gala, Met Ball in New York, oh, wow. that's this what we... This is it. This is it in South Africa, live on the 24th. And um, when we say red carpet, we mean red carpet. Yeah, don't come here with your... I, I don't understand sometimes <laughs> when you get the, you get the, 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 the dress code. is like black tie, red carpet, red yeah. And then guys arrive in, in jeans and sneakers with a suit jacket. It is going to be very strict because uh, when we say red carpet, we're going to send you, once people buy story, uh, their, their tables, we're going to send you the storyboard of what red carpet means Brilliant. so that people know what to expect because there's also the best dressed award on the evening that's going to happen. We have a secret police, uh, fashion police that's going to be happening. And uh, we, we want to also elevate this um, sense of fashion and glamour in South Africa because yes, uh, you, you know, the music awards and other events, they do it. But we also want to make sure that people go and support local designers yes. to go take time, go get the designer to make an outfit for you so that you can look beautiful on the night of the gala. And it's going to be spectacular. That yeah. sounds Unbelievable. <laughs> 24th of September, so it's happening. Freedom Park. Um, I, I'm, I'm just dying to see what you do with that venue because I mean, we've done many, many broadcasts from there. It's yeah. a very spiritual place. It's it a beautiful place. It is absolutely place, amazing. But only you could bring a fashion show there. <laughs> <laughs> and I do genuinely mean that. Okay, so Thank you. a few more details. Um, if you want more information, just email David Clale. Now, the, the email address there is studio at david a, a table of 10 is 30,000 Rand. And uh, where do the funds go? That's a, that's a question I haven't asked The question you. is, uh, the funds, when, they, when, we, when you raise them, we have the, the young designer aspect that's coming, whereby 
that we are going to have three winners on the night. Right. Number one is the, the first prize of the designer, they get an opportunity to be an assistant designer for the House of David Lale for a year. Wonderful. And uh, when they finish their internship, we have 150,000 uh, rands um, cash value in helping the, the young designer that has interned with us, where we're going to help them buy machinery to equip them to set up their studio so that they can be able to run their businesses. We help them to register their website, to register their businesses, have a business card, but all the basics of starting a fashion house. Yeah. And the second prize also then is 80,000 and then the third prize is like 50,000 with an intention of helping you become a established designer and also hopefully taking the young designers on our national fashion platforms as in like our fashion week platforms and also depending on the sponsorship we want to take the the winning designer the, the number one designer to new york fashion week next year with yes. when we showcase our february uh, our autumn winter and collection wonderful. so that we can actually inspire young designers to say um, you, it is possible for you to be able to be on an international stage, but it's a long journey before Indeed, you actually get before there. Before you get there. Yeah. All right. So 24th of September just happens to be Heritage Day as well. Oh, yeah. I've just been told I've got a little bit more time, which is good. So, <laughs> so I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a great way of celebrating our heritage as well. Exactly. So the 24th of September, yeah. uh, that day chosen specifically for it. Yeah, I mean, the MEC has been like really persistent that we have to do it on the Heritage Day because uh, that's when we can really showcase what we have in Gauteng as a creative industry. Okay. David Lale, thank you so much for talking to us. We wish you all the best going thank forward you. for this event. So again, those details, studio at davidlale.com. Email, you'll find out everything you need to know there about this huge event that's taking place. The, uh, this is for the, in partnership with the Gauteng Department of Sports, Arts uh, and Culture. It's called the Gauteng Premier, Premier's Ball. Looking forward to that one. David Lale, thank you again.